Hello. I'll be asked why I want to build a rainwater catchment system when there's already a, a water tap conveniently located right next to my allotment. I'll explain why it's important to have a good supply of water and it's important to have your own supply of water and then we can see how I build mine. Water is the most important element for plants. They need it for soaking up nutrients from the soil. They break it apart using photosynthesis to make their food. The greatest portion of many plants is water and we know if they don't get enough water they wilt and dry. They also lose some water through transpiration and also use it to keep cool in hot weather. Just as we lose water in our breath and our sweat. You just can't grow healthy plants if you don't have enough water. We could get away with using tap water, but plants prefer rainwater for a couple of reasons. Firstly, they need a slightly acid water around their roots to dissolve and absorb nutrients. Tap water is slightly alkaline, so it's not ideal, especially for plants such as blueberries, which need acidic soil. Tap water also contains chlorine, which is not great for the soil life that supports our plants. It's also the environmentally sensible thing to do to store rainwater which is sustainable rather than tap water which has had to be captured in valleys, processed and pumped back up along pipes to get to us. The pipes on this site are susceptible to damage and also frost damage in winter. Um, so we may have um, interruptions in our water supply and the taps are turned off between uh, November and March so that they don't, uh, the pipes don't freeze um, during the winter. Anything that's covered such as coal frames, greenhouses, polytunnels which won't get direct rainwater needs to have an alternative supply of water. Now that we know why we need a rainwater catchment system let's build one. Setting up the rainwater catchment system is not complicated and should cost very little. All you need is a surface to catch the water, some guttering and pipes to divert this into a container. The shed already had some guttering when I got the plot. The original guttering had a few nicks and didn't collect all the water. The piece at the end is not connected to the rest, so it's no use. The end cap will need to be moved to the other end. That gutter Looks like it's going actually going the wrong way. It's, it should be leaning down. It's a bit wonky at this end, but it's actually, if I put a level on it, it actually is going the wrong way. So I need to sort that out first. I initially bought some barrels and put a barrel under the existing gutter to see how much it would collect. Despite its poor state, it collected a decent amount of water. This worked. What was only temporary. It wasn't good enough long term once the first bed was built. Well the bed is done. I've leveled off the ground and put those stones around it. But before I make the bed and uh, put the plants in I've got to move that drain so that it goes from the other side so it uh, drains from the other side so we can put the barrel sort of where the pallet and other junk is on that side of the shed next to the door. Right, the way the guttering works at the moment is this piece it just has no end and it doesn't end anywhere it just water runs off and runs straight down the side of the wall so this is absolutely useless. We've got the end piece with the drain pipe at this end and we've got another end piece at the end. So what I'm going to do is take this off and take and disconnect this bit uh, turn the pipe around and put another piece in the middle so we have one nice long piece that drains the roof. When I looked at this 
I said it uh, wasn't level and it was uh, le uh, pointing the wrong way. You can see that end is clear and all the crud has gathered at this end because the water as it was coming off the roof was gathering at this end and all the uh, dust and debris rather than going down the hole at that end it's all collected at this end so we'll make sure it's uh, got the right gradient this time I've changed the guttering around so it's being collected at the other end and I've taken out the bit that was useless and stuck it in the middle so now it goes down and it's a bit of a funny shaped joint but it's bits that I managed to get out of a skip so it uh, doesn't match but there it is uh, perfectly working rainwater collection and once I get more barrels and collect them up we should have a good good amount of rainwater connected off the roof well I was working I started working on the base for the rain barrel for the water collection system as it was supposed to be a nice sunny day I thought well I'll get that done and the heavens have opened but the good news is you can actually see it coming out so I know the guttering is at the right level and it's all working it's color, it's, the real water is coming off the roof and coming down the pipe and there are no leaks in it the base needs to be strong and level because the barrel of water is very heavy and will tip over if it's not level. I made sure the base was level before I let the barrel fill with water. This is how the final version looks once I made some adjustments. There is a gutter on the other side of the shed so there is the option to gather more water if we need it. Tap water should be the backup of our system for times when we run out during the summer. We can fill the barrels with tap water and let them sit for a few days to get rid of some of the chlorine. Well that's an important job done and out of the way. In the next video I'll be doing a bit more clearing up and I will plant strawberries in the bed that I built last time. Uh, so goodbye for now and come back soon.